Hey, good afternoon. It's Friday, Friday, I should say. Hey, I'm Carol J. Dunlop, your online wow strategist and Amazon International number one bestselling author for my book, Unmarket Your Business, 10 Ways for Savvy Entrepreneurs to Stand Out, Start, Stop struggling and <laughs> to think what it is. Stand out, stop struggling and start profiting. How are you doing this Friday? I'm going to be sharing this out to a couple places. I just got to find it because it's not showing up on my page for some unknown crazy reason. And so I'm just maybe talking to myself. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes that's how it goes. You just talk to yourself. And they always say, um, oh, there it goes. I see it. I see it. Then And they always say, you know, as long as you don't answer back, you're okay. But I'm saying it's okay to answer back. So sharing it out. And let me see if I can share it. What happened? There. I don't see anything. Okay. I see it's a blank screen I'm trying to make sure this is okay. I might have to come back in. And... Hey, Gwen. I see Gwen coming on. So I see. I'm just trying to make sure everything's cool with this broadcast. I think I see myself now. It's acting up. Must have a volume on there. Oh, cool. All right. So watching myself over here. Hey, Gwen. How you doing? Thanks for joining in. It's up here. Yay! Cool. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna go forward with this thing. This is Gwendolyn uh, Davis Yancey, uh, one of my favorite clients. We together. She was actually on uh, live with me a few weeks ago with the premiere of her challenge. And um, now she's got something new coming out. Gwen's always doing something new. So if if you guys see me freeze up or go out for a second, just kind of hang in with me because it's my internet connection here. Sometimes it just acts crazy. I don't know why, but it does. So um, let me see. I'm trying to get this thing back on screen. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Technology is always a challenge. Even for the tech guru, technology can be a challenge, but that's okay. All right, so we're going to talk about some business success tips. I'm just, I'm being challenged right now. It'll be okay. I know it'll be okay. All right, looks like I'm good. All right, so we're going to talk about some business success success tips that are going to help you uh, kind of get your business into a place where you can actually start making some money, okay? About making some money, uh, making a difference in the world, helping you to feel better about you, helping people to feel better about you. Those are success tips that you can use. And for some reason, I don't know why my title is not showing. I'm trying to get it to come up and it it just won't. So, hey. (laughs) <laughs> Thanks, Gwen. Shout out to Carol, the tech girl. Yes, yes, yes. You know, that that's what I do. That's what I do. Not only technology, but marketing. So thank you for that, Gwen. I really appreciate it. All right, let's get into what we were doing. So success tip number one, the who, the what, and the how. So basically, in order for your business to be successful, in order for people to want to pay you for what you're doing, and in order for you to make money at what you're doing, these three things, who, what, and how. Number one, who is, who is your audience? Who are you serving? Who are you talking to? And you have to know that like 
I want to say almost intimately, but explicitly who they are. Like, are they men? Are they women? And let's just say my audience, my audience is mainly women, mainly women entrepreneurs, women entrepreneurs who are between the ages of 45 and 54. Now, I do have some clients who fall outside of that range. I have some clients who are before that range. And I definitely have a lot of clients who are in the middle of that range. And what, how did I pick that? Well, basically, I'll be 57 on February 6th. Yay, me for my birthday, right? And I do very well with, with women between the ages of 45 and 54. Now, of course, you know, 47 and up, but I do very good with those women because why? Because I know what they're going through. I've been there. I've done a lot of things that they've already done. I've spent time learning what I need to know to make my business a success and to help bring money in. So it's only right that I can share with them. So if you look at your audience, they're usually only a step or two behind you. Like you know more than they do, but they don't know as much as you. So you can teach them. Like, for instance, Gwen, I love Gwen and her mind shift strategies that she has because it's all about turning, flipping the way you think you're the way you think you should be into the way you know you can be. The shifting that mind shift is it's, it's big. Uh, actually, Wendy Y. Bailey, a coach of mine, says that, you know, mindset is everything. So there's a Lugenia Trailblazer Rucker because it, if you can believe it, you can do it. So those, those, those are the things that kind of help. So you have to know you know, what mindset your clients are in. What are they trying to do? And that is a lot about who they are because you can't go to busy moms who need quick recipes that you can, they can make in like 30 minutes and you're a personal chef and you go to them and you say, oh, I have this elaborate recipe that requires 50 different ingredients. I'm frozen. <laughs> 